Most people who know anything about me know that I used to teach self-defense and martial arts, and while I'm an old-time man now and probably could still teach the art, I don't think I can remember half the forms anymore, because I'm just out of practice. But I'm not out of practice in the regard for human life. I am not out of practice in the belief and right to life under the premise solely of the adult human life, that the adult human life has a right to life. I don't mean that children don't have the right to life, I just mean that the unborn are an impact on the adult human life. Now forms of abuse are when total strangers think they have the right to tell people about how they can use or misuse their human bodies. And when people render that opinion about a human being or a woman, it makes me upset because what I'm saying to you, motherfuckers, you've got a wife and you've got children and that's where your focus should be. You do not have the right to tell some woman or a man like me what we can and cannot do with our bodies to be tried and true to our family and our future. You do not have the right to tell a woman who's had an accidental pregnancy or a rape-based pregnancy that she has to, to carry that child to term because that expenditure is not a huge thing. It's a major thing in a human being's life. It has a huge emotional toll. It has a huge psychological impact. It has a huge intellectual requirement. It has a huge educational component. It has a huge financial expenditure. Did I miss any of the typical characteristics or qualities of human life? It also requires the right player to participate as the partner and other parent in life. Now it is true, single women are incredible. What they can accomplish as professional people and personal people is often amazing. But there's also a lot of abuse in that and a lot of misuse of that. And the truth is, if we don't start training our children on how to find the right partners and how to trust the Lord and give Him the key private code words that only God knows about helping you to find the right match in life, then we end up with a society of a lot of immoral people. And we don't end up with a society with a quality variety. We end up with a society with a lot of perversity, a lot of damaged goods, and a lot of problems in our society.